So the theme this year is called Long Lasting Looks. It really says it all in the title where we wanted to showcase looks that can last all year round as well as we can be sustainable in all of your fashion choices. Being you know, sustainable and reusing materials is so important in today's age. The fashion industry is actually one of the most polluting industries in the world right now. And so even with our little show showing how you can reuse and recycle and be more sustainable every day really does a lot in people's individual lives. Good Fashion Show is a completely student-run and organized show that has been going on for 20 years since its founding in 2001. And really, it just kind of gives a different take on the business and really what you can do with fashion. With the help of Northwood and the community, we're able to put on an amazing show. Supporting small businesses has always been important to me. And especially right now with hard times, it's really important to showcase them and help them in any way that we can. It's important to maintain relationships with boutiques because people are not only knowing they're contributing to the show, but keeping Northwood in mind, knowing they're contributing to a student ran show. We really do appreciate all their help and they're always super supportive and super easy to talk to. It's important to the Northwood Fashion Show to work with the community so that they know that we are here to support them in whatever we do. So each department collaborates, you know, every single day to get everything we need for the show. So we have the finance team run by Tyler, we have the stylist team run by Kit, and productions is Alvarita, and I'm the marketing head. The five segments this year are hot and cold, opposites, complimentary, day and night, and coming back. Due to COVID and everything changing, we actually had to move it virtual. We're obviously following all the state guidelines and we're still being able to produce an amazing show. It's going to be held online through Blue Jeans, March 26th, uh, Friday. Super easy to join. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait to see everyone there. So for those people who do not know you and don't know what you're about, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business today? Absolutely. Um, my name is Jody Bromley and I own Harper J Vintage Design and I make repurposed or as I like to call it, reimagined jewelry out of authentic um, handbag hardware, shoe hardware, vintage suit buttons, anything really I can get my hands on. I like to rework it. It has to be authentic and um, into jewelry or accessories. That's awesome, very Thank cool. You. So what was your inspiration behind creating your business and how long have you been doing this for? It's been about two years now and really I'm inspired by the story behind something vintage that there's always a story and that I might not know what the story was and, and who owned it and where they went and what party address was worn to or whatever, but that it has a story and that I can take that apart, sometimes very sadly, of course, but that I can take that apart and I can make a new story for, for instance, 10 buttons on something that mm -hmm. 10 new people can have this piece. So always changing and always evolving and, and new stories added to it. So that's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. I love that example about 10 buttons to 10 people. So you're yeah. reaching so many more people. Yes. And that's, yeah. that's awesome. Thank so, you. What is your connection to Northwood? I know you've had a pass with us yes. and been involved in the show before. Yes. Um, well, I told you that Northwood students are very special to my heart, mm -hmm. and, and you all are. So um, prior to starting my business, I worked at Northwood in admissions at the Welcome Center, and I worked a lot with students every day, and you all were the bright spot <laughs> of my day every day. So I'm so happy to be here. Even just being on campus, it just makes me happy. So thank you. You're welcome, and we're very happy to have you. Thank and you. It's an extreme honor for us to have you know, you. someone who's been a part of all aspects of Northwood and I really feel like your business really aligns with our theme this year and with that 
our long-lasting looks theme, how do you think it aligns with your business? Well, I really think it aligns not only with my business, but with my personal style and something that I've been drawn to for years is vintage clothing collecting and I wear my vintage clothes. They don't just hang on a hanger mm -hmm. or in a drawer. Um, I like, for instance, to pair a coat from the 50s that is the, of the style of the 50s with something really contemporary and give that an updated look. And to me, that's a long lasting look right there. Absolutely. And so, you know, timeless classic pieces, just that, that sustainability of those two. That's for awesome. Sure. That is Thank exactly you. what we are trying to convey here with our show this year. So that's truly amazing. And what do you think, there's so many great things about your business that I love and that we all love, but what is the thing you love the most about your business or your favorite part? Well, I'll try to keep it short <laughs> because the list is very long, but being my own boss is pretty fantastic and I do love that. Um, being able to be creative in the way that I want to be and make those decisions is fantastic. Um, I also would have to say that hearing from customers that are happy with their jewelry and they send me pictures that just it energizes me every day and it fuels me and makes me want to make more pieces so that that really it warms my heart and it really drives me That's for awesome. sure and we know your business is not going away anytime soon and we're very excited to see the next step so could you tell us what your future plans and goals are for your business for sure well I have a really good problem that I can't make jewelry fast enough <laughs> and that is wonderful because mm -hmm. I get a lot of messages from people asking why that's out of stock. I want more. I wanted mm -hmm. to buy that and so I need to figure out how to make more jewelry and faster. But I also am looking forward to getting out and seeing people and pop-ups and live events and, mm -hmm. and I really miss speaking face-to-face -face with customers and talking about the jewelry and the origin of the pieces and where it came from so I'm really looking forward to that. Well, we are looking forward to that as well. And I know I've been on your website and I look at something and I'm like, oh, I'll check again next <laughs> week to see if it's back in stock. Yep. So. Always hustling to make more, for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. It is such an honor. I I'm truly, I can't even tell you. I've run out of words about it and I don't want to run out of words. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Jody from Harper J Vintage. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello again, everyone. So sorry about the delay that is happening right now and about the technical difficulties, technology. What can you do without it and what can you do with it? So let me reintroduce myself again. My name is Hannah Novacek. I am this year's chairwoman of the Northwood University 20th Annual Fashion Showcase. And welcome, finally, to the show. This year, our theme is long-lasting looks and it really says it all in the title. Throughout the show, you will see what long-lasting looks means to us. And I'm sure they've been saying it in the chat, but it would mean the world to us if you could donate throughout the show. You can donate by texting IDEA, I-D-E-A, to 71777, or visiting our website, nufs.northwood.edu, to donate as well. And I'm sure you all, I know you could hear the video of the pre-recorded videos. That was our 2021 Influencer of the Year, Jody Bromley, the creator of Harper J Vintage Design. Without further ado, I'm going to have my Director of Finance, Tyler Pashek, talk about the sponsors. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Hannah. Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Pashek. I'm the Finance Director for this year's show. So I'd like to first thank our sponsors, Yo and & Yo and Paul's Lawn and Garden. I would also like to thank our donors, specifically the Williams family, for their generous contributions. And lastly, I would like to thank all of you watching us, watching us at home right now. Hello everyone, my name is Sydney McLean, and I'm so honored being this year's student design coordinator. Of everything going on in the world, fashion is ever changing. Tonight, you're gonna see a wide variety of styles. You're gonna see scrubs, going out, artsy and upscaled, and everything you see every day. And tonight, you can cast your vote of who you wanna vote for for student design. And that you see on the top of your, if you're looking at your phone or your com computer, you'll see on top of the screen, it will say poll. 
And once you see that, you'll see a bar graph, and you'll see the name of the designer, and that's how you can cast your vote. And if you're seeing it on your computer, you can look on the right-hand side, and you'll see a poll or something that looks like a bar graph. And once you click on that, you'll see a bar graph. And now we're going to see a video of what student design really is, and I hope you enjoy. So the student design segment is a completely separate segment of the show that allows students from Northwood, from all different backgrounds to showcase their talents in creating their own personal collection to show before the main theme of the show and its five segments. My design, it's called Four in One. So my whole concept is the different parts of the industry. The first one obviously is gonna be what you see on the runway and the next one is going to be what you'd see in the store and then the next one is going to be what you'd see in a business light and then the last is a casual. And I actually came to visit previous year's fashion shows and just being able to be a part of it now is just really cool because now I've been looking up to it for so long and now I can actually do it. The North of the Fashion Show gave me the opportunity to design my own pieces and show them on the runway, as well as meet a lot of other people. Working together with those people uh, make me feel empowered, you know, kind of shows me what, what I can do and what we can all achieve if we work together. COVID has affected preparing for the fashion show. As a team, we've gotten together and overcome that obstacle because even though it's like half our meetings are virtual, we're still laughing, we're still showing our designs, we're still very proud of everything we've done, and I know the show is just gonna be like completely smooth. My segment is called Into the Night, and it's just very like classical pieces that can be uh, dressed up or dressed down. That matches with the show's theme of long lasting look, so something sustainable that were timeless. So being able to be a part of Northwood's show is something that not every university offers, so having this on my resume is going to be an incredible opportunity and that's something I will always look back on and be thankful for it. Why I learned the ex this experience at the Northwood Fashion Show is that definitely dedication. It's not just easy work. You definitely have to put your time, thought, and effort into it. I think just to everyone, especially me being a coordinator to hearing other people's designs, it was really inspiring to hear like where they got their ideas from or what their hobbies are, or what they look up as a role model. Everyone gets a different taste of what other people like. You can join us for the Northwood Fashion Showcase this year on March 26th through our live stream Blue Jeans link.
With the pressures of a fast-paced work week and even faster fashion trends, you have no time to panic. 
choosing timeless pieces that are able to endure not only late nights in the office, but late nights with friends helps you be more efficient with your decisions and precious time as well. This helps cut down on waste, both in life and in landfills. Choosing versatile pieces that can transition seamlessly from the office to out with friends is one way you can guarantee an easy end to your day. I hope you can see how you too can create long lasting looks with these concepts. I'm Lauren Bell and I styled our first segment to encapsulate these ideas. Because of this, we've decided to name this segment Day and Night. Thank you. 
changing, choosing effective outfits that keep me comfortable no matter the weather is valuable and useful now more than ever. Selecting thoughtful fabrics and fashions to layer pieces multiple ways can help you look past the latest trends and stay tried and true to yourself. Outfits that can weather the times and temperatures help keep you calm, cool, and collected for years to come. I hope you can see now that you too can create long-lasting looks with these concepts. I'm Zula Cadrio and I styled our second segment to encapsulate these ideas. Because of this, we've decided to name the segment High Gold. Thank you. 
Clothes from varying color palettes are similar yet different in many ways. Much like a good pair, these differences come together to complement each other, making a dynamic dual look. The same goes for your wardrobe. Selecting shades that pair well, just as you do your counterpart, allows for endless possibilities. Sound connections and style concepts will help your styles and adventures be effortless for years to come. I hope you can see how you two can create long-lasting looks with these concepts. I'm Daniela Ayoko and I styled our third segment to encapsulate these ideas. Because of this, we've decided to name this segment Complimentary.
Wardrobes, as well as individuals, are unique with a wide range of boots. Adopting a wardrobe that can embody this allows you the freedom to express your different emotions each and every day. Timeless pieces that can cover any mood allow you to fully operate no matter the style. Finding empowering outfits that let you express your emotions allow you to be free of self-judgment, doubt, or blame. You can embrace these opposite emotions in both life and in your wardrobe. I hope you can see how you too can create long lasting looks with these concepts. I'm Savannah and I styled our fourth segment to encapsulate these ideas. Because of this, we've decided to name the segment Opposites. Timeless pieces that can
styles and students have embodied timeless looks and full circle fashion. There are no new ideas, just new executions. Sometimes we have to know where fashion has been to know where it's going, which helps our style stand the test of time. Simple pleasures like getting together with good friends make memories that will last forever. Choosing timeless pieces is how you too can stand the test of time and be sure to never go out of style in the past, present, and future. I hope you can see how you too can create long-lasting looks with these concepts. I'm Dustin Meyer and I style our fifth segment to encapsulate these ideas. Because of this, we've decided to name this segment, Coming Back.
Now, the moment we've been waiting for. Now it's time to decide who won student design this year. Now, I know we've been on a long journey, guys. And I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm so happy that we got to do this. I'm so sorry. Your hard work has finally paid off. And now it's time to know who third place got. Congratulations, Nora, Collection of Bliss. Second place goes to On the Night by the Collection by Savannah. Now, the moment we've been waiting for. First place of this year's student design of the Northwood University Fashion Showcase. Congratulations to Abby and Lucas. Now they're going to say their final words of their collection. Thank you, everybody, uh, who watched the show and voted for us. Uh, coming into this, I really didn't think we'd win, but here we are. Um, we had a lot of fun working with our models and working with everybody involved in the show. Uh, I would like to thank my family, who all watched the show and supported me, uh, my brothers in Talk Cafe Epsilon, uh, Abby, of course, for helping a ton with the designs, 
And yeah, thank you so much, guys. This was a blast, and I look forward to the future of the shows. And thank you guys so much. I couldn't even bond with a better team, and you guys worked so hard, and Annalisa, stand up here. You you guys worked so hard, and you know it was hard just holding my tears back, but I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you. This would not be a show without you guys. Of applause again for all the student models and student designers. Wasn't that amazing? They did it. Thank you all at home for being patient with us through this all. We really appreciate your support. Now it's time to meet all the students who really helped make this possible and make my dreams and visions come true. First, we have Tyler Pashik, the Director of Finance. Thank you for the warm welcome, Hannah. I would first like to thank, again, our sponsors, Yo and Yo, Paul's Lawn and Garden, among many others. Throughout the show, I've been pleased to see all the support we have been getting. It is because of you guys in the audience that this show is possible. I am beyond pleased to introduce my team to you all. First off, Jacob Williamson, our finance coordinator. Next, Reagan Sharp, our fundraising chair. And lastly, Lexi Odette, our sales manager. I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Thank you so much, finance team, for all your hard work. Next, we have Elvarita Garcia, the director of productions. Thank you, Hannah. As she mentioned, I am the director of productions this year, but I couldn't have produced the show alone. And I would like to take this time to thank West River Light and Sound, Northwood Media Services, all the Northwood faculty and students that were models, as well as the ones that were on my team, primarily them. So I would like to introduce Chelsea Malums. She was the event coordinator. Lauren Wisner. And... Hallie Morton, who couldn't be here tonight. And together, they were the event decor committee. Next, I have Savannah Burchett and Rianne Parr, who also couldn't be here tonight. But without them, I couldn't do this tonight. And they were the event, the model coordinators. I couldn't have imagined doing anything else without you, without you guys as my team. Thank you so much. A round of applause for them. Thank you so much, Productions team, for all your hard work. Next, we have Marissa Olmeda, the Director of Marketing. And give her an extra round of applause, because today is her birthday. Thank you, Hannah. So I'd first like to thank Sarah Holly and Stephanie Thurlow from Northwood Marketing for all their support. I'd also like to thank Hadley Morden for photographing our entire team throughout the year and also Austin Foote, a fellow Northwood student who filmed and edited all of our promotional videos that you've seen tonight. Now I'm going to introduce my small but mighty marketing team, starting with Cassie Frankoviak, our digital marketing coordinator, and our content creator, Janelle Dampier. Thank you, everyone, again for watching. Thank you. Thank you, marketing team. Next, we have Caitlin Howell, our Director of Style. Thank you so much, Hannah. I would like to first start off by giving a huge thank you to all the businesses and boutiques who contributed their clothes, accessories, and talent to the show this year. Special thanks to LED Boutique of Midland, Botanica Modern Market of Midland, H&M of Saginaw, Pattaya of Ann Arbor, La Fleur Boutique, MJ Murphy College of Beauty, and last but not least, our Influencer of the Year, Harper J Vintage Design. Your contributions are what made the show possible and helped my style team put all the looks on the runway, and I am, can't express how thankful I am for your constant support. 
Most importantly, I would like to thank my wonderful style team, introduce them up here today, starting off with Sydney McLean, our student design coordinator. Next, we have our stylist of day and night who cannot be here tonight, Lauren Bell. Our stylist of hot and cold who could also not be here tonight, Zula Kadriu. Our stylist of complimentary, Danielle Ioko. Our stylist of opposites, Savannah Burchett. And our stylist of coming back, Dustin Meyer. These are the people that are the visionaries behind the segments you saw on the runway today. I couldn't have had a better time being their style director this year, and I'm very proud of each and every one of them. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, style team. And now, last but not very least, we have Benjamin Dusek, our executive secretary. Thank you. And thank you, Hannah. It has been an absolute pleasure in working with you and bringing your vision for the show to life. And now, on behalf of the entire Northwood Fashion Showcase cast, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, technical difficulties and all. It has been your unwavering support that has allowed us to bring you the show tonight. And with that, I'd like to thank you all again for watching, and have a wonderful evening.